now have the results of Shinquilla's autopsy done here in Mecklenburg County, uh, which contradicts claims made by Mexican authorities in a partial autopsy of her body done the day following her death in Mexico. Now, that local autopsy released Wednesday has a uh, critical difference than that done in Mexico. The Mexican autopsy said Robinson died from a broken neck. Shinquilla's Mexican death certificate, finalized a week after her death, says her, her cause of death was a severe spinal cord injury. But that new autopsy done here in Mecklenburg County says her spine was completely intact and concludes an undetermined cause of death. The DOJ says because of the findings from the local medical examiner, federal prosecutors would not file charges in Robinson's death. According to the Mecklenburg County Medical Examiner's Office, Shanquella's autopsy showed that her spine was still intact. They stated that there was no skull fractures present, no evidence of injury to the upper airway section and no hemorrhaging in the surrounding neck muscle or fracture slash hemorrhage of the mid to lower cervical and upper thoracic vertebral column. The removal and sectioning of the organs revealed no evidence of other trauma or disease process, no fractures of the ribs or the remainder of the vertebral column. I don't even know what that word is. There was no evidence of hemorrhage or disruption of any of the musculature, ligaments, or spinal elements. No fractures are seen on the posterior of the spinal column. And no evidence of any disruption of the spinal column alignment and subluxation. The medical examiner said that based on the autopsy results, Robinson's cause of death is undetermined, but that the most significant findings were hematoma of the forehead, which is pool of blood that forms in an organ, tissue, or body space. There was mild cerebral edema, which is a concussion, and a hypoxic Ish, I don't know what that is. An inadequate blood flow slash oxygenation of the brain. The report stated that the hematoma of the forehead was consistent with blunt force trauma. Uh, clearly, the demon was beating Shanquella on the head and kicking her. What are they talking about? So Mexico says, yeah, there was um, severe spinal cord injury and atlas with atlas luxation. And they're talking about, no, nah, her spine was perfectly intact. What is going on? I'm confused. Who's lying? Who's lying here? So Mexico, what's, what's good with this autopsy? And US, um, if I'm not mistaken, Elise Hyatt's sister, Andrea King Hyatt, of Greensboro, North Carolina, is a seasoned police officer. 25 years and, and, and more. The math ain't mathing. It's not. It's not mathing. Child, I can't. I'm out of here, y'all.